I've been doing music production for almost 20 years at this point, and so it doesn't happen very often anymore that I see a brand new feature that I would consider revolutionary. But that has changed after seeing the splice integration that we have in Studio One Pro 7, which will really change everything about the way I search for my samples when making beats. So what am I talking about here? I'm talking about the tedious process of finding the correct samples for the song that you're currently working on. I'm sure you can relate to this if you're making music like me with beats and so on. You have a ton of sample libraries and they're not really sorted in an order that takes the material that you're currently working on into account, right? You're gonna have a ton of suggestions that have nothing to do with the current time signature, key signature, groove or genre of your music that is currently work in progress. And this is precisely why we have an amazing new way of searching for samples inside of Studio One's browser. So here I have a beat going on. And it is, you know, quite characteristic in terms of its downbeat accentuations that I have in there. And I'd like that to be considered when looking for a matching drum loop, a groove, right, to complement this. And the way I used to do this is I went to Studio One's browser right here and then I went either to the loops or the files tab and I would just go through the vast amount of sample libraries that I have here on my hard drive and most of them wouldn't even be in the genre I want. For example, this one, I mean, that's high quality samples, but they have nothing to do with the genre I'm currently working on. So instead of going to the files section, I'm going to go to the splice section of Studio One's browser. And the way this works is I just give it a reference of what I'm currently working on by making a multi-selection or a single selection of any kind of sound and then drag that in here. And what will happen now is that Studio One is rendering a mix style of my selection, uploading that to Splice and their algorithm is now looking through the entire library of Splice to find the perfect fit. Now it's important to note that the AI that's working here is not generating the music for us, it's just accelerating the search to find the human recorded music available on Splice. To me, that is really the perfect way of using AI because I don't want AI to do the art for me. I want the AI to do the tedious work of the process so that I can have a much shorter distance between my initial idea and its realization on the timeline. So here is all the material that Splice has now come up with. Wow! And I'll notice very quickly that all of this stuff is actually matching in terms of rhythm, but also in terms of key, which is such a game changer. I can't tell you how many times I looked through melodic sample libraries and nothing really fit the key signature that I was currently working on, especially not during audition. And now I only get stuff in the key. That's amazing. And uh, to add that to my project, all I need to do is just drag and drop that directly into Studio One, trigger the download process. And from here, I can just keep working on my production. But I initially said I wanted to look for some drums. So let's use the filter options we have here to narrow down the search of curated samples a little bit. So I'm gonna select drums and I'm gonna go for, let's say tech house genre. And this gives me 56,000 results, but again, it's human recorded samples here. I really like this one, so I'm just dragging that in to download. And now I need a kick drum, so I can also just add the kick filter here. This is just the perfect kick, it's even tuned to the bass line, my god. So I'm just going to add this as well by dragging it in. And I can't tell you how long it would have usually taken me to find all these perfectly fitting samples in the traditional way where I just go through all of these pages and listen to a ton of unrelated stuff, which would, by the way, also kind of distract me from my original idea. As I'm getting more and more suggestions that are completely random, I also lose track of thought and steer my production in a different direction. So that's another problem that this brand new approach is solving. It's incredible how quickly I went from this to this in the matter of a few minutes of this tutorial. An absolute game changer. I can't tell you how much time this has saved for me already in the process of music production and how much more fun this has made the entire experience.